think it's wonderful that the town is getting back and that, you know, I've tried to help other people. My husband went back to work. Um, I think the exciting part about doing it in conjunction is that we're really looking forward to seeing more artists move to Galveston, to become an art community, to um, revive the town in a different and new and creative way. So that that's how it's significant for me. Um, it's not a personal significance as it, as it is among the town, for our town. But I love watercolor. For me, it's very easy. Hmm. What? Time for two? What? Are you a diver as well? Yes, actually that's what um, started the series. The series started when, number one, I took diving lessons, mm -hmm. but then I met a man, my husband, who is a professional diver. Mm -hmm. And so we go diving all the time in Honduras where we have a place that's secluded and we don't have to deal with other hobby divers. <laughs> yeah. They pulled out the flowers. Uh, waiting to put in new flowers. Mm -hmm. They need one of these. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you need a pink tomato. Seriously, huh? <laughs> yeah. And then these are some of the acrylic pieces that I used to do. These right here. Uh -huh. But they're nature inspired. They're vines that. My dogs, and I found this arm. And a week or so later, I found this one, and then I found this one. And I'm finding all these arms, and I'm going, that is really peculiar. <laughs> so I, I thought about that for a long time, and I decided, well, I need to make a piece. So that's how that piece became uh, a piece of art. Was that I just couldn't not do it. It just seemed too strange. <laughs> so a lot of these things are pieces that I found after the storm. They're things that I collect because I find them. Just push this start, and you have to start moving it right away. Or okay. What about stop? Um, this is start and stop. So when you push it once, it'll start, and then when you push it again, okay, you just stop it by pushing it twice. So push it again. Are you an artist here on the island? No, I'm not. I just have a great love of artists and all things they do. Okay. So one of the things so when I got involved with Artist Homestead, the idea that I could help, I do the website, do a few marketing things for them, a few little things, mm -hmm. but the idea that I could help bring more diverse and interesting people to Galveston Island. What a wonderful idea. Yeah, so that's kind of why I got involved. think about being able to do something like this on the anniversary of like, I mean, what does it mean to you to kind of blend the artist community here on the anniversary of one of the most devastating storms that the island saw? Well, I used to watch the uh, 1900 storm. I must have seen that movie about, you know, two dozen times. And I always wondered if I would be as resilient and as those people and of course I hoped I would and so I think the fact that the island has come out in full force with all these events on the anniversary not a word about 
worrying if we're going to have a hurricane at this, you know, <laughs> time. Um, I think that shows a lot. And um, none of us were waiting, sitting around waiting for help, begging for this or that. We just got busy and got to it. And, mm -hmm. and that's what we all want to show, that Galveston is alive and well and ready for business. <laughs>